Hello, what's up? I'm Inizalea from ToleratedCinematics.com and today I will be showing you how to create this awesome trailer title. Alright, so you don't need any plugins for this and if you don't wish to follow along with this tutorial or you want to support our YouTube channel, you can always buy the project files with the link in the description and for those that do want to know how things are done, let's fire up After Effects and get started. Alright, here we are in Adobe After Effects and let's take a look on how to create this awesome intro. So, um, I'll create a new composition and rename this to Main Comp. Make it around 10 seconds long and click OK. Uh, just copy my settings right here or pick the resolution that you want. Okay, so all we actually need is some kind of paper texture just like this or some other kind of Grinch texture. Just go and Google something and that you like and that's what you're going to use as your background. Open up the main comp again, right click new and add a new solid layer. We'll make that black and click OK and rename it BG for background, click OK. Then I'll go and apply my background text right here and press S on the keyboard and scale it down like so. And now we can go ahead and start coloring this background. So the first thing that I did is actually go to effects, color correction and apply a tint effect to that. That's going to make it black and white, but if you're going to change the color from the, for the white, we can actually give it some color. So we can go and maybe pick like a nice blue color like so, click OK. Maybe even for the black color you can pick like a dark blue color so you have a little bit more variation but the same kind of color in there. And then we go to effects, color correction, curves, and then we can bring some kind of contrast into our background like so. So this looks pretty neat. But I, mean, I currently think it's a little bit too too blue. So what I will do is jump in here and actually play around a little bit more. Something like this is starting to look a little bit better. Okay, so very subtle. This is exactly what I'm looking for. Now what we'll do is add some kind of clouds or kind of atmosphere here in the background. So I'll create a new solid layer and I'll make this uh, fractal noise and click OK. I'll apply the effects uh, noise and grain, apply the fractal noise effect. And then what we'll do here is change the fractal type to, uh, well actually we can keep it at basic, um, the brightness. Let's go for minus 30, then open up transform and we'll scale it uh, like 750 something like this and then we can increase our complexity um, all the way up to, to 20 so we have a lot more detail in here and I'll, I'll click on the evolution right here time times 100 and that's going to give it some animation like so as you can see and now we also want them to move to the right so what I'll do is alt click on the stopwatch for the offset turbulence and what I'll do here is actually open brackets value open brackets zero close brackets comma value, open brackets, one, close brackets, and again close the brackets, and then we'll go back right after the uh, close bracket for the zero, and we'll add plus time, times 100 as well. And I won't go over explaining this expression, I've explained it in some tutorials already, so if you want to know what this is actually doing, um, go and look at my previous tutorials a little bit, and um, I'm sure you'll come across it. So. Uh, let's go and uh, we can see it right here so we have some kind of cloud movements to the right if you want to have it faster or slower just increase the number right here so let's say uh, we can change it to 150 you're going to see that it's going to um, yeah move a lot faster I actually think that 100 is fine maybe a little bit more here so 175 Okay, so we have some animation here for the background. We can close this down, click on it, and go to the mode and change it to screen. Press T on the keyboard and change it to 15 opacity. Now we have some kind of clouds in the background like so, which looks pretty nice. Uh, you can lower it maybe to seven, keep it subtle. And what you can do as well is also apply the effect color correction tint. And instead of white clouds, we can make them um, a little bit more like a blue color. And that way you can increase the opacity, but it's more going to blend in with the environment. As you can see, it's like uh, it's letting light through from the background. And yeah, maybe that's a little bit better. Okay, 
Let's go back to the project settings. I like to work in a higher bits per channel. So let's go for 16, hold alt and click on here. Uh, so we have a little bit more information in here and go back to the effects controls. Uh, we can close, uh, we can actually close down our fractal noise. We have our background now. Um, what we need to do now is add some text to it. So we'll create a new text layer and click right here. Amazing title. And I'm, I'm using the font Lado bold, um, go for 75, 100 spacing, and we'll go to the align tab right here. If you don't see that window align right here, we can center this out by clicking on these two buttons. And now we have perfectly centered text. Now I'll click on my text, go to the layer, and actually add a layer style gradient to my text. Open up the gradient overlay right here and edit it. Okay, so I'm going to change my black color to a brighter color, like so. And like right here, I'm going to add a little bit darker tones in my text. Maybe you can go for like a blue color and uh, like add a little bit of subtle blue. You can do the same thing for the white. Completely up to you. I'm just showing you the possibilities here. So uh, maybe a perfect white right here and then you can make this more towards blue. Okay, so we have some gradient to our text. I'll click OK and then I'll click, uh, I'll close down my text, click on my text, go to edit duplicate and then I'll click on the bottom text right here press S on the keyboard and uncheck the constraint proportions and go for a scale 99 for the first one and that's going to scale down like so and then we'll need to open up the second text layer right here so uh, layer styles gradient overlay and edit this gradient and make it a little bit different and then the first one maybe a little bit darker as well and click OK. OK, so you can go ahead and spend some time on this if you want to, but the text isn't the part of this tutorial. Uh, you can go again and check out other tutorials. I have many tutorials on how to uh, create some stunning looking text. Uh, so select both of these layers and go to layer pre-compose and we'll rename this to title. Click OK. And now we have our title layer right here. What we want to do is go to our mask tool and pick the rectangle tool like so, and then just cover up our complete text just like so. Okay, press M on the keyboard, pick your selection tool right here and select the last part of your mask. Hold shift and drag it all the way to the right. Well, select these and drag this to the right. So holding shift is going to make it straight and then click on the stopwatch for the mask path and go like one second or two seconds depending on what you want. Uh, select again these two buttons and hold shift and drag it to the right and then uh, like maybe at five seconds we can click uh, right here to create a new keyframe and then again two seconds further away we want to select these and just bring this to the right like so. So now we have this kind of animation where the text is showing and then staying on the screen and then disappearing like so. Okay. Now what we want to do is duplicate our text, but before we do that, let's press F on the keyboard and just feather it a little bit so we have a, a little bit of a subtle feather here. And click on the text, duplicate this text, and go to Effect Generate Fill. Just so we, we actually see it clearly what's going on. Press M on the keyboard right here. And what we want to do is actually go ahead and go to a position where it's almost gone like so. Press, um, click on the mask and go to edit duplicate or control D and open up that mask and make it subtract from the first one. Then we can increase our mask expansion for that one. And that's going to make you nothing at this point, but we need to offset these points to the left. And the more you're going to offset them, uh, the more you're going to see the red color. And what you want to do here is doing the exact same thing, but the opposite position like so. And now we're going to get um, the red part like so. So now we have a short part and this is going to be our bright part. And of course, the more you offset it, the more you'll see. Uh, so we can bring them closer together like so. All right, so this is looking pretty neat. Okay, so this is exactly what we want. Um, we can change the color now to a blue color right here, like so. And go again to a position where you're actually seeing this part. And we're going to click on it. And of course, uh, maybe this is a little bit too big, but that doesn't really matter that much. Go to Effect, 
and go to blur and sharpen and we'll apply the CC radial fast blur. Change the radial fast blur and zoom to a brightest and now we can change our mode to add as well. And there we go, so now we have this bright part in the beginning. Of course, if you're going to increase this to 100, or we're going to get something like this. 75, uh, 75 seems to work well. Um, so yeah, there we go. You can see that this looks pretty neat. And uh, what I'll do is go to the center right here and I'll click on amount uh, on the stopwatch for the amount. Go to the beginning and change it to zero and go to the end and change it to zero. So now it's actually fading on and it's brightest at the center. And actually <laughs> I'm doing the wrong thing here. Uh, we press U on the keyboard to actually reveal these keyframes. Um, we're actually doing this for this animation. So we need to bring these right here and then copy these keyframes select all of them Control C go to the beginning right here and press V uh, Control V and then uh, we can make this a little bit longer um, I'm making these longer selecting all of them holding alt and you can drag it like so so um, that's a little tip there for those that didn't know okay so we already have something pretty cool as you can see right here and the only thing that is a little bit off is the center part uh, of the radial fast blur. What you'll have to do is click on the center position and move it to the left right here. And then go all the way till the end and move it all the way over here. Let's try that again. Still not perfect, so we'll click right here, press U on the keyboard to reveal these keyframes again as well. So we have the center right here. We actually want them to be in the front right here, so... Okay. I'm doing a little bit of tweaks to get it right, and there we go. So now this is looking better, and let's do another preview. And as you can see, it's going a little bit fast, so what you can do here is select all of these keyframes now, hold Alt and click on one of the last ones and just drag them to the right and we can select all of these, move them to the right and then hold Alt to make them a little bit longer, move them like so. So now it's going to take a little bit longer. And actually uh, we need to do the same thing for this mask, so press U on the keyboard for this one as well and just select these and bring them to the right. And just like these right here so just go to this keyframe to get it appropriate like like so and get them in the same position and then for this one as well right here alt to put this one there okay okay Okay, there we go. So this is um, a better timing. You can also go ahead and select all of the first um, keyframes and then press F9 or right click keyframe assistance, easy ease and do this for all the last keyframes and that's going to give you a smoother start uh, for the animation. So like this, right click keyframe assistance, easy ease and there we go. Alright, so then I'll create a new layer, new adjustment layer, and rename this to Vignette. We'll go to the Mask tool, Ellipse tool, and double click right here. Subtract it, press F on the keyboard, change it to 500, and then go to Effects, Color Correction, Curves, and we'll bring down the curves, and that way you're going to get like softer edges. You can maybe increase it to a thousand, and then like a uh, darken up the edges right here and that's going to be without and with and you're going to get more depth in your scene another thing that i did is imported one of my particles so these are 20 unique particles that we recorded so uh, you can use them in your projects like motion graphics and visual effects um, i recently made these because i needed them for a project and uh, we are actually going to work on a new pack and you can go and get this pack on our website, the link will be in the description. But we're also working on a new set of particles with a new camera that is going to have better recording quality and also a better setup with more variation and that we're going to put into this. So for those that go ahead and buy this pack, 
uh, you will get the new pack completely for free and the, the new pack is going to cost a little bit more than this one so for those that really need particles I would suggest you to go and grab these right now because once the new particles come out uh, the price will change and then um, these ones uh, will just be a part of the new pack all right so I'll pick one of these right here I'm going to import 17 for example and I'll put this behind the title and go for a screen and as you can see it's a 4k so we'll go and press s on the keyboard change it to a scale of 50 and then I'll go for effects color correction curves to add some contrast to the background so it becomes a little bit darker and then brighten up my particles like so go to the blue channel and add some blue colors to it like so go to the green channel and press uh, make an s curve so we have a little bit more contrast in the color and uh, go to the red channel and maybe lower these a little bit like so and then just bring down the blues uh, just a little bit more okay so uh, now we have some particles in the background that's going to add a little bit of depth a little bit more variation um, there we go we can actually drag this over. Another thing that we can do is apply some perfect glow to a new adjustment layer. You can actually go and get, uh, get these for free on our website at the freebies page. Perfect glow, apply it right here and there we go. So we have some nice glow going on. And then also we can create a new adjustment layer and go for a wiggle animation. You can go and get the wiggle preset uh, for free on our website. I'm actually working on a wiggle preset v2 which is going to have more variation and stuff like that so once this is done uh, you'll get a link in the description but it's currently not available so I'll use this uh, just to show you a little bit what it's going to do um, but it's also going to have some rotational uh, functions and we're also going to make some presets here so at uh, the rotation amplitude like so 0.5 and this like 10 and 0.5 else like so and then I'll do a final preview let's see what we have all right so there we go we have it you can also create a camera and make it 3d to have a little bit of a zoom uh, but then again I would suggest you to go ahead and watch some other intro tutorials that I made uh, because I keep going over the same thing um, but yeah, we already have a really cool result. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, give this video a like and also subscribe to the channel for more. See you in the next one and goodbye.